Right, well that was fun. Let's do some One Piece Odyssey. Don't know how much of this I'll be playing tonight. Usually I do like three to four hour chunks, but I've been going to sleep earlier in recent days, which is part of the reason why I've not been streaming this past week, because my sleeping schedule has been kind of, you know, shifting a little bit to the point where I've been going to sleep earlier. The Dead Space remake is out. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Um, I'm not going to get that at this moment in time, but I'm considering eventually checking it out. Maybe I'll buy it later this year, but it's not on my radar for the moment. I've currently got games I need to finish up. Uh, there's my most recent save. Oh yeah, I heard about that yesterday, the randomizer for Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Here's the thing about that, I love the idea of it, but the Majora's Mask, partic like the Majora's Mask aspect of the randomizer kind of scares me, because that game has like 10 billion side quests that I am not familiar with, so it probably wouldn't be fun for me to play. Because in order to enjoy a randomizer like that, you have to know pretty much all facets of the game. I know pretty much everything about Ocarina of Time, but not that, so I'm going to say no to that for now, but thanks for letting me know. Robin-chan, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. 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 Thank you, Chopper. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Robin! ここに鳩のやつが来なかったか。え、来てないの？ドップショップが連れて行かれちまった。ウォーターセブンから出る前に奪い返さないと。ここに来る途中、町の人はもう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、も
but I guess it finished while we were watching that direct because it was still like going on while that direct was happening. But yeah, I got I got a new what's the phone called again? It's a Galaxy S23 or something like that. Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is most definitely not a mouthful and not confusing. But yeah, it's it's a long-term phone. It's a phone I'm going to be using for, you know, several years. It's a pretty nice looking phone. You ever notice how smartphones, like, back in the early 2000s, there used to be this sort of trend with, like, pre-smartphone cell phones where they started as these, like, fucking gigantic bricks that you could, like, give someone a concussion with, but then the phones started getting smaller and smaller and smaller with each iteration until they were, like, fucking the size of a pea. But then when they introduced smartphones, this the phone started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, I swear every single phone I get after the last one is, like, bigger. I, the, the next phone I... Like, I've got giant hands, but the next phone I get is gonna require two hands to hold. We don't have any business at Dock 1. Oh, wait. Can I, can I grab that item that's just sitting there? Wait. Oh, there it is. Okay, I can take that at least. Right, so we need we need to go talk to uh, what's his name again? The mayor guy. Iceberg. I guess I activated that already. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the volume up just a little bit. So, like I said, I haven't been streaming for this past week. So hopefully I can get back into regular streaming again. Like, I try to do at least two to three streams a week, if not more. But yeah, sometimes there's just like, you know, a week or two where I just cannot stream for whatever reason. But yeah, sorry about that. I'm gonna try getting back into Hi-Fi Rush and Pizza Tower and all that fun stuff. Maybe I'll do them tomorrow. にわかにゃ信じがてえが、いや、信じたくもねえが、狙いを聞きゃ思い当たる節は。フランキーのやつも連れて行かねえか。俺は仲間を奪い返す。お前、サイファーポールのエージェントを撃つんだ。間に合わ
I don't know if the game's going to explain through the in-game lore pieces. It probably will, but Frankie is part cyborg. That's why he's got, like, those huge, like, arms. Because they're, like, kind of partial cannons. Right. I guess we'll be making our way to any lobby shortly. そこに行けば、鳩の野郎を追っていけるのか。ま、試作品の海列車が命の保証はできねえし。俺でもいい。俺たちは必ず嘘っかちを取り返す。女の願いをするのもなんだが、フランキーの奴も助けてやってくれね
Poison cube. Yep. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Alright, got the punch in. I need to remember where the f those fucking chests are when I get that key, whenever that happens. Oh, right. I did the wrong pose. Yeah, don't worry, I was controlling the game with my mind. There it is. There's the sea train. Yes, there are sea trains in the world of One Piece. I love how the front of this train just looks like a bullet bill. A banzai bill, rather. Good quest. Talk to everyone. <laughs> man, the Rocket Man is so cool. I wish Iceberg would finish setting it up. Doesn't seem like the Frankie family or the Galila guys are coming with us this time. Well, we'll manage without them. Don't lose to him this time, Luffy. I didn't I didn't lose to Luchi. You saw me win that battle. Yeah, it's my turn to knock out that pigeon guy. Can something this big and heavy really run over the water? Don't you know that iron sinks in water? Look, this bottom part uses so much iron. Don't worry, Lim. It's a sea train. That's not much of an explanation. By the way, who's going to steer this thing? We had, uh, we had Kokoro do it last time. Kokoro? That old mermaid? Don't remind me, you idiot. That's the moment my dream were, dreams were shattered. I remember that moment in this story arc. Like, that was funny. Like, for context, like, there was this whole running gag where, like, Sanji was, like, fantasizing about, like, he had this preconceived notion that all mermaids were, like, young, beautiful, like, handsome girls with, like, fishtails. And he, like, he couldn't get over, like, that fantasy, and then he learns about this, like, older woman who's, like, you know, like, 80 years old or something. Maybe not that old, but she's, like, 
in her late 50s, early 60s, I would estimate. It, but she is a mermaid as well. And he was just like, oh, oh no, that, that, that doesn't really work with me because, you know, she's nothing like what he imagined a mermaid to be. It was stupid, but it was funny. Luffy, I'm sure you don't don't know, but this time we're definitely not going to fly through that air in the rocket, man. What? The thing can fly? I can't wait to see that. Hey, I told you we're not going to fly this time. Luffy, I found a note in that cargo on how to operate Rocket Man. Wait, there's a actual minigame or something for this? The note was incomplete, so don't blame me if anything happens. Oh, never mind. I thought they were about to give me a tutorial or something. It's like, oh, here's a note. This will explain how to control this thing. Alright, well, I've talked to everyone except for Iceberg. Let me just do another save in case talking to him moves me to the next part of the game. Thanks, Mr. Ice. Don't thank me yet. The Rocket Man is a failed sea train prototype. No matter how much we try to adjust it, the steam engine can't, this, the steam engine can't handle the speed and it loses control. Ride her at your own risk. Don't worry about it. This is a great train. You sound as if you know the Rocket Man. No matter, I'll do what I can. Alright, let's go. I wonder. Ah, yes, right. I know, I know who the voice is. Run. I want to run one more time. I want to run. おい、なんだ、あ、オッケーだ。ロケットマンを得た意味はアクアラグナであれる海を越え、地方の島エニエスロビーへとたどり着いた。Alright, we have arrived at Eni's lobby. わすれがたい光景ね。You know, it kind of sucks that Usopp has been kidnapped during this part because it means I can't do my triple attack anymore. Like, you know that Usopp, Sanji, or Usopp, Zoro, and Chopper combo? Like, I cannot do that at the moment because he's not with me. I'm hoping we get a new combo attack soon to make up for that. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot the name of that island, but that's where Robin grew up. They're kind of glossing over it a little bit, but there's like some super important like backstory for Robin there. Maybe the lore pieces will give further elaboration. <laughs> Fucking chopper. I don't know if you saw that there. Alright, 
Right, well, we made it. Guess the rocket man did fly. Looks like we're going to be fighting actual people from the Marines this time, and not like fakes from the Alabaster one. <laughs> Oh god, they've got Gatling gun stations in here. Quick travel point. Oh, I see. There's a little light on top to let you know if you marked it. Right, that's good. I didn't notice that before. Right, I don't know how long this area is going to take me. Hopefully it's just no more than a couple hours so that we can get to the end of this. Like, Eni's Lobby is pretty much the final destination of this particular story arc, so... By the end of this, we should be fighting Luchi for real. Oh God. Let's see how tough you guys are. Oh, I see they got some of those big bodyguards from Impel Down. Impel Down being like this massive prison, which sadly I don't think is in this game, but it's a really cool part of the story. So these things are called Wild Blue Gorillas. They don't look like fucking gorillas. They look like... I don't know, weird skull monkey men. I don't, I don't know how you would describe this thing, but it doesn't look like a monkey. So he's a power type, their techniques, right. Um... Oh, these all seem to be quite useful. Oh, it doesn't work on the gorillas. Works on the marine, though. But this will be good on the gorillas. That's what I want to see.
Thankfully, these ones don't seem to be much of an issue. Well, she can do a lot of power with that thing, like just doing melee attacks. Alright. Fun fact, actually, like, um, Sanji's ability to, you know, have his foot go on fire like that for his attacks, he first learned how to do that during the Ennis lobby battle in the anime. So yeah, there you go. Uh, let's do Thunderbolt Temple. There we go. Easy. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this. Oh god. Wait, can I actually? Oh. Okay, so you don't actually get hurt by this thing, it just stops you. Yeah, I don't, I don't really control the ad, so that's just something that Twitch does. Can't you, like, use ad blocker or something to remove that, or is that not... does that not work? Uh, Fuck it, I'll do that. There we go. Got a fucking mafia guy here. Just a well dressed dude with like a fucking shotgun. 
Yeah, these guys look like Mafia at this point, and not like members of the government. Like, they, again, just, it's weird. So these guys, two in the middle of speed, the two on the sides are power. Let's try a 108 pound Phoenix on him. Oh, wait a minute, that's not the one that hits them all. Whoops. Ah. It's fine. Alright, that works. Did I just hear the tele the Dragon Ball Z teleport sounds? Yeah, that's the fucking Dragon Ball Z teleport noise. Everybody's roughly at that level, I think. Yeah, 32 and 31. And Robin's like level 28. <laughs> Sadly, there's no way to bring Robin up to the rest of us. Like, she's just stuck like a few levels below us. Did I miss something up here? Oh, no. Sleeping bug. Yeah, 
Alright. What was that quest? Oh, we got a few things here. Win five battles in the Tower of Law. Right, so reach Enny's lobby. Grand Log, Water 7, Part 4. Right, so we got some lore here. Um, yeah, let's have a look at this real quick. So this is Robin when she's younger. When she's a little bab. So they do explain this a little bit. かつてロビンが生まれ育った考古学の聖地彼らの中に初めて心から安らげる ルフィの叫びについにロビンが答える。生きだ。私も一緒に。もう見つれてって。生きる。望んではいけないことだとずっと思っていたロビン。ルフィの思いが突き刺さるのだ。Right, well, there you go then. By the way, I, I probably mentioned this the last time I streamed, but the Funimation dub of that moment where she says, I want to live, like, that performance is fucking amazing. Like, I think that blows the Japanese version out of the water, honestly. I wish I could let you hear it on here, but, you know, DMCA and content claims and all that fun stuff. If you can look for the episode, like, on Crunchyroll or something, just watch that one bit. Maybe there's, like, a clip of it on YouTube somewhere, but I'm not gonna risk it. Anyways, let me bring myself back. Like, every time I play the lore movies, like, the text kind of, like, spills into my PNG, so I have to, like, hide the PNG whenever those play, otherwise you'll miss some of the text there. Right, so reach the storehouse in the sewer. Oh, we missed part three. Fuck. Why Why did that have to be the bottom then? Eh, whatever. Okay, I guess we're going in reverse order then. Here's part three. <laughs> ウォーター7へ潜入していたルッチたちはアイスバーグを襲撃。古代兵器復活の鍵を握るニコロビンとフランキーを捕獲し、エニエスロビーに戻ってきた。ロビンを救出するため、ルフィーたちは暴走を生
裁判所の屋上で CP9 の人がブルーノと対決することになるルフィはゴムの能力を応用しポンプで全身の血液を加速すると全ての技の威力が飛躍的に上がる技ギアセカンドでブルーノを撃破 Yeah, this is what he learns how to do gear two. Oh, that's a good one. 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 Oh, t h a t a g o d one. Oh, a t s a g o o one. Oh, t a t s a g o d one. Oh, t a t And this one is just some crafting material. Okay. Okay. The Game Boy and Game Boy Advance stuff are out. Cool. I'll have a look at that after I finish streaming. Making sure I'm doing the right attack here. <laughs> of course, they'd be weak to this. Just a reminder, this is the, the attack, by the way. CBT. <laughs> I haven't used Robin in a while, so might as well have her in for a bit. That fucking Dragon Ball Z teleport noise. Like, I'm sure that sound effect is not exclusive to just, like, Dragon Ball Z, but that's the first thing you think of when you hear that. Like, that sound effect is synonymous with that series. Speaking of Dragon Ball Z, um, they brought back the DBZ stuff in, like, Fortnite because I. I actually did an offline recording of Fortnite earlier today because、uh, Geralt from、uh, The Witcher got added to it. So I was like doing the challenges to unlock that and I did the recording of it. That recording should go up tomorrow with the rest of today's VOD content. But yeah,、um, while that was happening, DBZ, like both DBZ and like the, what's it called? My Hero Academia stuff was like running concurrently. So, you could get both a Kamehameha and a Deku Smash in Fortnite at the same time while playing as Geralt from Rivia, The Witcher. <laughs> It was fucking weird. Anyways. Kamehameha, yeah. I, ma I made that joke while I was playing Fortnite today, actually. Oh, I didn't kill him. I thought he was dead, but he has a sliver of health left. That's lame.
来るなら。今行こう。ゴッまだ。ファク。まだ。あいつらは、今行く。That's an awful nice chin you've got there. Kaizo Kudomo, a cocoma de Kitoko. Donna, no Kayan Kosaki. オッケーの道を飛ばす重要なものと聞いておるのだが合ってるよな。ちゅうけ。誰に聞いてやがる。うん。とにかく俺を壊されるわけにはいかん。正義の名のもと成敗してくれるわ。ということでいいよな。はあ
He's got walrus teeth and a fucking American dad Stan Smith chin. There we go. All right. Right, well, that's one cannon out of commission. Damn, didn't work on him. There's an item near the flamethrower. How did I miss that? Thank you. Oh, hey, it's these guys. How much money do I have right now? Oh, I've got over a million berries again. What do you have for me this time? Oh, it's the same thing again. Uh, nah, I think I'm good. Actually, let me see what else you got. Spandam's headgear. Oh. Jabra sunglasses. I know who that is. Kit, Cal, Califa's notebook. Decent bit of attack there. Mm. Nah, I think I've got a decent loadout going. I think I'm good on that. Right, let's go back around the other side now that that cannon is not being used anymore. That flamethrower, I mean. Oh, 
I love this guy's fucking shrieky voice, it's great. Almost got all of them. <laughs> Oh, they can heal themselves? Okay. Not gonna save you, though. God damn it, stop being paralyzed. Should've done, done a full, uh, what do you call it? A party heal or something? Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. I got rid of the flamethrowers, that's all that matters right now. Oh. So, wait a minute. Um. Oh. Right, I'm just going to ignore these guys for now.
これで元気になるぞくそその程度だ気をつけこのゴムのジェットピストル All right, we're down to one left. There we go. Easy. We're getting so much money right now. Well, there's an item here, but yeah, nothing too important. Surprised that fucking thing did not see me. Oh, no, it did. Do we have any spare money line here? Nope. Good security. Did I just miss flavor text? Guess not. This refrigerator had cola in it before. Cola? I only see meat. Alright, let's eat this meat. We don't have time to eat meat. We need to find Usopp and Frankie first. Those are some gigantic pieces of meat. Huh? This button didn't do anything. Does it not work if the lamp is red? Eek, pirates, don't kill me! Nice, nice face, by the way. Guess I have to activate this somehow, remotely, before I can open that door. There we go. That's what I like to see. Oh boy. Come 
で元気になるぞ行くぞ There we go. Raisa, Ara Sanjiku, Okizuka, Yarigato. All right, well, Robin has almost reached level thirty, finally. Need to get one more cube for him. Ah, here we go. Frankie, what do you want? That's a chicken, do go at the house. Yosh, yes, I go. Oh, I go. Who's up? Frankie, Oh. Huh. Guess I can't get back up there now. I probably missed something back there, but I guess I can't go back anymore. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Ah, fucking hell. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, oh, here Wooden pallets! Doing a lot of switching between chopper in this one, in this area. Nice camera. Oh, for fuck's sake, no. There we go. Well, they're definitely getting their mileage out of a uh, fucking chopper in this area. By the looks of things. What's this? It's a lot of books. Robin, what's up? Nani got the noca? Gonna hum. Sebiosi, Wafuru to Kaitar. Zuibun to Furuan, eh? So, Kona Furuhom, no cotter. Coco Gakta, Toriageta, Chilio, the Dex Show, Coconi Chazo Stern. これ全部なのか政府にとって都合の悪い本をなぜ処分しねえんだ歴史がどこまで知られてるか彼ら学者が何を調べているのかを把握するためでしょう普通の成り行きしかそれでロビンちゃん見つけた本には何が書いてある
しかし海底火山の噴火や地殻変動は観測されていない多くの事象が物語るワフルドは間違いなく空から落ちてきたワフルドの近海に群生する巨大な古代種の藻類が落ちた大地を受け止め浮かせているのだ。なぜ空から島が降ってきたのか。根本の部分にまだまだ謎は多い。So yeah, Wafford was a sky island. あいつを照らし合わせるなら、その場所はワフルドと全く同じ。ワフルドは空から降ってきてできた島。それ不思議島ってことか。I like how Luffy doesn't even fucking understand. Archaeologist's appraisal. Robin can find ancient information with her knowledge of archaeology. Switch to Robin if she notices something. Right, so this is new. I'm guessing just additional lore can be found with her. Alright. Information on Yoisa? Where do I read that? Is that under important items? I don't know where the lore text is, maybe here? Oh. Okay, it's this one. A highly intelligent subspecies of Isa. I, I, Isa? Isa? They can understand human speech but cannot speak the human languages. They can move freely between Memoria and the real world, just like the Isa. Isakai? ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Good going. Jet to Pistra. Right, uh, that's not a cannon taken care of. Sorry, I keep saying the cannons, the flamethrowers. Before I go down now, let me see what's over here. Nah, this, right, this was that other part. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Flame cannons, yeah, I guess, maybe. Also, Robin has a really fucking weird walking animation. I don't know, it just looks kind of weird. It's probably because I have, I've been using her the least in the game so far. Gator Watermelon. Wait, who was was I think it was an Usopp cube I picked up? It was Robin. Okay, there we go. Switch to chopper. Oh. Oh, it's an elevator, right? Okay. So I'm guessing this is the earlier part of the dungeon we've been to already. Oh, damn it, I want that. Goodbye. <laughs> Fucker didn't even notice I was here. Also, whose cube did I just pick up right now? Because I wasn't looking at that. Chopper. Good thing I came back here because, you know, stuff I missed before. Sanji. Hey. They call it the Tower of Law, but the trials here are all a sham. The crime I committed wasn't even that serious. The world government is so dirty. This is so unfair just because I burned down one little city. Um, I don't know, but that, that, that kind of sounds like something that is marginal, marginally punishable. 
I like how, how he sounds like, oh, I barely did anything wrong, and then he, like, you know, elaborates that actually has something that potentially destroys many lives. You know, it's, it's no biggie. My life is over now. Once you cross that bridge and go to the gates of justice, there is no coming back. The Bridge of Hesitation is a good name. Of course, any criminal is going to hesitate when they cross that bridge. Good thing that dude, dude, dude didn't follow me for some reason. See Prism Stone? Huh. What is a Sea Prism Stone? Basically, it's a mineral that's super hard and also negates the powers of all devil fruits. Right, so I cannot break that door. Oh. Right, no idea where this goes, but I'll take this door and see where that leads. Oh, it's another kitchen. Oh no, the, the, we've been to this kitchen before. Right, so that's what that links to. Oh. I like how Chopper's doing the Naruto run. I'm gonna go and raid Area 51, guys. Where was that elevator I saw earlier? Ah, there it is. Alright, back to where we left off. Any collectibles in this room? I've been picking up a lot of memory cubes, so there might be one in here. Or that. That works. Kumadori's Crosshair? I don't know what that said. Wait. Yeah, this. Yoish. So that is the most we've been using Chopper in the, you know, field areas since the start of the game. Like, we switched to him, like, what, 20 times throughout that? また
Like he's got a beard, but it's the same like character with like the square chin and like the tusk teeth. And for some reason he doesn't have any pupils. There we go. Easy. His name is Rear Admiral Barricade. Oh wait, he does have pupils. They'll just really hard to see. Yeah, this guy's not exactly too smart, is he? <laughs> okay, that was funny. What does a service room look like?
Right, that's one. Uh, I guess I'll use this to go back up. Right, let's go look for that service room then, whatever the fuck that looks like. Was it the room with all that food? No, that would be the kitchen. Maybe this guy can help me. You're looking for a man with the long nose and the man with the chin split in three. Like I know these guys. Alright then, well. I can't do this anymore. Why did this happen to me? Just because I sort of attacked a Marine's headquarters officer, whimper. Oh, doggo. The fuck is a dog doing in like a, a world government head headquarter? Uh, prisoners should behave. Oh. I mean, yeah, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Thought I was done with these guys back in the sewer, but no. There we go. Oh wow. A lot of experience there. I'll take it. Got two level ups. I don't think I checked all the rooms here. Or did I? For all I know, there's a key somewhere here as well. Who are you? What? You're looking for your crew? Haha, <laughs> give it up. In 800 years of history, nobody's ever been able to take over Eni's lobby. Even if you find a crew member, you're not getting away from those freakishly strong CP9 agents. Oh, that was close. 
Oh, camera. Was Nathan where the prisoner is? What, the one I just saw? Um. I. Oh. Right, I've talked to these guys already. Yeah, pretty sure I've checked all of this. Yeah, I did. これで元気になるぞ。All right. Nice, uh, nice, nice camera. Oh, that's what that gate was, right? Okay, so that's that's what that was. I don't know what the service room looks like. Also, hey there, uh, discharge or. I don't know, do you want me to call you something else other than that username? Wait, did I check this room? I guess I haven't opened this room yet. I didn't even realise that was a door I could interact with. Nope, can't get up there. Hmm. I guess this whole area is a service room, maybe? Hmm. Oh. Uh, 
All right. Yosh. Yosh. Ah, oh, god damn it. Boy, they really love letting me use chopper for this area. Yeah, no, that, that was a waste of time. There was nothing really accrued from going up that way. I mean, just a data cube, but that's not what I was looking for. I'm, I'm more so looking for a key, and I don't know where that, where that key is, so I'm going to have to, like, go deeper and look for it. Oh, wait a minute. No, this isn't. Alright, let's go back up to where the kitchen is. If I can find it, it's here somewhere, I think. Oh, there's something over there. I see it on the mini-map. Okay, yeah, the service room is this kitchen. We're not gonna hurt you. Can we ask you a question? What is it? Do you know where the key to the engine room is? Oh, that's all? The rear admiral hid the key in the fireplace. You spill the beans pretty easily, don't you? Of course I did. Nothing's more important in my own life. He sounds pretty proud of that. Where is the fireplace? Oh, there it is. Oh, I found it, but there's only one. Looks like the other one is somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, when I hear that sound effect, that's what I think of. Tell me where the other key is. You're not letting me go? Vice Admiral has one of the keys. I think he's in the dungeon. The dungeon? Why is the Vice Admiral there? Hmm, I guess we'll have to go look for him. The prisoners in the dungeon might know something. We should ask them. Oh, back down to the prison we go then. Oh. Okay. Right, so at the rate we're going, I don't think I will finish this tonight because I am starting to feel a little bit tired. I'll play for like another 10, 20 minutes or so. We can do the rest of Eni's lobby next time. I don't know why there's a big fucking monkey guard inside the prison. But maybe if I beat him, I'll get something? I don't know. Yosh.
Oh. Eh, it was not worth it. Okay, I see which prisoner has the informations. Oh, a dog? Woof woof. My name is Vice Admiral, the key got the key's guard dog. Oh, there's a key on his collar. I guess this is the Vice Admiral. <laughs> you want this key? You're not getting it so easily. What a cute guard dog. Don't underestimate me because I'm a puppy. What a hot babe! <laughs> this reaction kinda reminds me of someone. Mr. Puppy, do you think we could have the key? I can't say no to a lady. Here, take my take as many as you'd like. <laughs> it's just a dog version of Sanji. That's the only one. Thank you, cute little puppy. My Robin, let me be your dog. T <laughs> oh my god, Sanji, please. Okay. Ooh, the tragedy. Ooh. Ooh, a tragedy. Wouldn't it be funny if that was the fucking voice they went with for Sanji for the Netflix adaptation? Right, so where is that elevator? It's here somewhere. That shortcut so that I can get back down to the bottom. There it is. Right, we're ready to uh, get further in now. I think we're about to fight Luchi shortly, so maybe I'll hang around for that. I don't know how much more of this dungeon is left, but I'm going to assume that we're very close to the boss fight. Right, back to Luffy. You have outlived your usefulness, uh, Chopper. Not another long road. I guess it's better now that I'm not carrying Usopp. Now Kokoro and Chimney aren't here. They can't help us if there's a flood. That's something I don't want to remember. Oh, it's about time. It's about time for what? Is that Luchi? Oh no, it's a... Uh, fuck, I forgot that dude's name. The Pinocchio Nose guy. Kaku. So this dude has a devil fruit power, he turns into a giraffe. <laughs> Alright, boss fight. Not the boss fight I was looking for, but it's a boss.
I forgot the Jet Whip can attack other targets outside of his zone. That's eh, not too bad. Did cause bleeding though. I hope that's enough. There we go. That's one less to take care of now. That also frees Chopper up to attack anyone now. Let's hope there's not more guards on the way, because that would be annoying. Oh, who attacks? Alright. Guess bosses can do that now. I mean, didn't Crocodile do that at some point? He did, like, more than one attack. There we go. Right, we're all free to attack Kaku now. Shouldn't be too hot. Beat Kaku with Zoro. That makes sense. Like, Zoro did fight this guy originally. Oh, 
There was like a really funny thing that happened during that fight between like Zoro and Kaku. Because during that fight, like for some reason, I forgot what happened exactly that led into this, but Zoro and Usopp, who was known as Sniper King during that part, were like handcuffed to each other, so they had to like stay next to each other. And Zoro was like, well I can't really fight if you're handcuffed to my, you know, one of my arms. So he had this idea of like doing a three sword style where Usopp becomes one of the swords. <laughs> like he just holds Usopp as if he's holding a sword. Which is really fucking silly. Right, um, I'm just gonna try and, you know, figure out how to like do damage but not too much damage. Guess we'll do that. Hopefully this is enough. Damn it! Good thing everybody's tongues got refreshed there. There we go. Gonna get a nice healthy amount of experience for that. Yep, double experience, let's go. Appropriately, Zoro got a level up out of that. Hey. Robin finally reaches level 30. Also, they'll spend them. Or, well, not the snail, but the, the guy that is calling through the snail. Well, he accidentally triggered the buster call, just like he did in the original. Yep. So if you don't know what the fuck he just did, he has two transponder snails, one for this phone call thing here, and one that activates a buster call, which basically gives the, the marines the go-ahead to do a fucking carpet bombing on the whole island. So it's basically just a tactical nuke, is what he's accidentally triggered, or is like in the process of triggering by activating that golden one. So, yeah, <laughs> good going, Spandom. Even though some things in this memory have changed, that one remains the same. 
unsurprisingly. Spend him as a clumsy ass motherfucker. ま、さあ、ゴールだと。そに麦わらと言ってたな。やっぱり来てくれたのがアルビ。政府の施設。それもこんな場所まで海賊が来たってのか。仲間のために。あんじゃ。え、仲間を。ボスだ。泣いてる
So yeah, we'll wrap up the Ennies Lobby portion of the game next time. Again, probably just a couple more hours of that at that rate that was going in. So, I hope you enjoyed watching. It was fun. Sorry if I, my commentary wasn't the best. I mean, it usually isn't with games like this, but... Nonetheless, I hope it was fun to watch. I will do some more One Piece Odyssey next week.